One last thing, guys. I briefly said you can use EFS lenses on full frame cameras. That's not entirely true. It is true of the Sigma 17 or to 50 millimeter lens, and it's very likely that some of the off-brand ones will fit. The only problem you might experience will be a black ring around the uh, image, basically. So you'll have to crop in. Um, However, with the Canon ones, it's a bit different. Because with the Canon ones, they put a plastic raised hub ring around. Which means when you try and put it in, if you was able to take any pictures with, with your shutter, it's likely that the mirror would hit that raised bit of plastic. However, when you try and put that in, um, it's likely that you'll dislodge the focus screen. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically it's something that is a piece of plastic that goes just underneath the actual prism. So when you're looking through the viewfinder, it goes through the focus filter and then hits the mirror. So when you try and actually put that on your lens, it's likely on some of the full frame or the um, APC H older D1 bodies, it could dislodge the actual focus screen. So be very careful. Um, if you're wondering how to put it back in, if you're really careful, if you're really careful with the focus screen, um, a little glass tray will drop down. What you do is you put your focus screen, right, and you, you actually insert it. Um, just above that little tray drops down and you you can actually use your fingers normally when you do get a new focus screen you do get a little like tweezer type tool but if you're careful you can use your finger um, and I just wanted to make that clear that sometimes there is an issue with using some of the Canon EFS lenses however you can get for example this is 17 to 50 um, APS-C um, C lens basically for crop sensor cameras but you can fit this on so what you can do is you can attach some of the Sigma or Tamron um, lenses that have been developed for crop sensor cameras and put them on now this is the actual uh, 1D Mark III um, APS-C H um, cameras. Now these were developed um, for sports and wildlife people um, because basically full frame sensors were too expensive to, to actually make. So they came out with these was which w was a cheaper alternative to creating full frame 1D bodies. So let me just demonstrate by attaching this on so you can see it actually does go on. And there you go. And it does fit the body, you know. And you can take pictures if we just turn it on. And there you go. It works fine. It's the Canon ones which are the problem if you want to put them on your full frame cameras. Now you might be asking, why do I want to use an EFS lens on a full frame camera? Well, they're cheaper, basically. And they can be useful um, if you haven't got money to fork out for those expensive L lenses that are EFS such as uh, an example being the 24-105 f4 or the 24-70 um, 2.8 which uh, you're probably talking around £1500 for those lenses each depending on who you get it from and whether you get it second hand or whatever um, so people do like to buy the cheap lenses and put them on the more expensive cameras now the only problem with that is you will have to crop your image in, so you will lose some of your uh, real estate of your full frame sensor, but you can use um, F EFS lenses on your full frame, unfortunately not the Canon ones. So my advice is stick to the uh, other branded ones, which you can attach. Um, just one thing is I have seen some videos where some people have actually milled out the plastic and have been able to attach 
these EFS lenses onto full frame cameras with no issues. But just be advised if if that plastic hasn't been milled out, you could dislodge your focus filter and possibly damage your um, mirror. So I hope this little segment has been helpful. Thank you.